everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking all things spring, summer 22 trends. This was a video that I did last year when we were going into autumn, winter and you guys seemed to really like it so I thought I'd do it again. As always, these are eight trends that I've picked that I know are going to complement my wardrobe or it's something that I've already got in my wardrobe that I can pull out again and just style a different way or perhaps a similar way that I did to last year as well. So even if you guys can pick one or two trends from this list that you'll find in your wardrobe or something you want to add in, then that's great. I'm not telling you to buy into every single trend because that is not the right thing to do. There is so many out there. Come up with eight trends. It always seems to land on the number eight. I don't know why. I did eight last year and this year are the eight that I love for this season. So if this is your first time watching one of these kind of videos, I've started doing these every season and basically what I do is I go through all the trends, pick out the key ones that I love, pop the designers on here and then talk through how you guys can translate it into your wardrobe or if you've already got things in your wardrobe that you can use then I will show you some options for that as well. So yeah, it's just something that I used to do in my previous job when we would go to meetings with buyers, we'd collate all the trends and see what was coming up for next season and get designing. So yeah, this is just kind of like my new way of doing it to bring it into this kind of like YouTube world um, because I miss doing it. I mean, it used to take days, like I said on my previous video. This is more of like a refined version of what I used to do because I'm picking out the key trends that I love. Whereas in the industry, we'd pick out all the key trends based on what type of clothing I was designing. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the first trend and that is 1990s and cutouts. So if you've watched my previous YouTube video on trends, you'll have seen cutouts was huge last year as well for spring, summer. So it's a really key detail that was translated right through from last year to this year. And it's something I'm gonna definitely continue to be wearing into this spring, summer too. So I will share some pictures on here as well of what I wore last year and how I styled it. And then I'm just gonna share some looks from the catwalks. So we're seeing this real 90s look from the likes of Hermes, Stella McCartney, and Del Cor. So we've got the racer back style tops, which you can see on there. We've got the slip skirts, which I'm sure the majority of you already have in your wardrobe. And we've got the cutout details at the top and on the stomach too. So as you will have noticed on my previous slide, I do actually have a top very similar to the one shown on the Stella McCartney look. So this is super easy to recreate. I will link some similar tops below in case that one's sold out. But if you just get a really nice floaty skirt or even if you just wear your black slip skirt, team it with the cutouts and some really casual sandals. You've got that real 90s sports looks feel. And then Delcor have this beautiful, really minimal style sports look dress. I feel like this is something Posh and Mel C would have definitely worn back in the 90s. It's got that mix of sexy but casual, so it can really be worn with trainers in the city or heels at dinner. And I've actually found the most perfect dress to replicate this. So this dress is from a brand called Lily Silk. I have mentioned them in my videos previously and fortunately I am working with them again on this video. So this is a great piece to recreate the Delcor look. I absolutely love this. I will show you this on because it looks stunning on. So I just wanted to talk a little bit more about Lily Silk. I am working with them on this video. I've worked with them before and I absolutely love the brand. Their pieces are just timeless, minimal, beautiful, and super soft on the skin. So the silk that they use is sourced from mulberry trees, which requires less water than cotton to grow. So they're really environmentally conscious. And the great thing as well is with all the leftovers that they have, they make them into accessories such as eye masks and scrunchies. So they're really good at reusing their fabrics as well. With this style, you're really getting that sports looks feel. So you could team it with your trainers if you're going into the city and then you can change into your heels for the evening. So this is definitely a great addition for me going into spring, summer. It's also a great base layer as well. You could layer jumpers over the top if it's a little bit cooler still in the spring months and then you can wear it on its own effortlessly for the summer months. 
So the next top I want to show you really hones in on the cutout trend. And if you can see there, we've got a little cutout at the front. I'll try this on so you can see it better. But this little knit is from Mango. It's super soft because it's got a viscose blend in it. So you're gonna get that really soft feeling on your skin. And it's a lighter knit as well. So it is perfect for these in-between transitional days where it's still a little bit cooler, but it will take you nicely into spring and summer too. So I have actually been styling this with my high-waisted trousers, my satin, midis and my jeans as well so it's a really nice addition to add in especially if you want to wear something with sleeves in these more transitional months and you're not going to be too hot going into the summer months because you've got the cutout detail as well the great thing about this trend is that it really encourages you to wear black in the summer months. I know people try to avoid it. It's something I've definitely embraced more over the years and it can just look super chic and classy. And then you can utilize these pieces throughout other seasons as well. So the pieces in this trend are definitely adaptable to your wardrobe as well especially with the basic racer backs, the slip skirts and the slip dresses. You can translate this into all seasons and get your wear out of them. The next trend I'm going to talk to you about is all things fresh and clean. So I'm really seeing these beautiful minimal styles from the likes of Peter Doe, Valentino, Max Mara, and they're just my favorite style to see on the catwalk. You know I'm a minimal girl, I love my neutrals. So this trend is definitely one for us minimalists for sure. This can be head to toe white, ecru, cream, and even hints of mint and sage as well, which I'm gonna show you today. It's all about wearing a really fresh palette and mixing those fabrics as well. So this is where you can really experiment with different textures and fabrics whilst using the same tones within the look. So I've got a few items to show you here today which I'm going to mix together and create some looks for you. But I just want to talk to you about another Lily Silk piece that I've got here as well which is, I think it's my new favourite shirt because it is absolutely beautiful. This is perfect for the fresh and clean trend and it would just add that little bit of luxury into the look as well. This is the beautiful SOS shirt from Lily Silk. It is so soft and glossy, you can even see the reflection of my window in it. So this is a piece that I saw and immediately fell in love with. It is so breathable and lightweight, which is perfect for spring summer as well. It's in a beautiful oversized fit, which was inspired by the menswear shirt. So you're getting that real relaxed luxury look when you wear this item. And it is made with 22 mom charmeuse silk. So it's a really beautiful quality piece. This is definitely a piece I am going to have forever. It's going to be one of those that comes out every spring summer as well. So even though I'm talking more on the trend of the fresh and clean, this is something that could tie in really, really nicely with other pieces in your wardrobe as well. So the great thing about Lily Silk pieces is that they do recommend you to dry clean them, but you can pop them in their mesh wash bag and wash them on a low, gentle wash which is music to my ears because I can be a little bit clumsy, especially when wearing white. So yes, love this piece. I will show you it on and how I'm gonna style it with the other pieces in the trend as well. Another oversized shirt that I wanted to show you is this one from Cos. And I actually got this in the sale last year. I will share some pictures on here of how I styled it. I feel like this look in particular really hones in on the fresh and clean style. I just love pairing this with tailored trousers, really basic vests underneath for that effortless looks feel. So this is made from 100% lyocell. It's a really super soft fabric and it drapes really nicely without being too heavy. So hopefully they still have this in stock. If not, I will link a similar one below. But I just love this sage color teamed with other creams and off whites. It's a great fresh palette to add in if you want a little bit of color in there as well. So as we're seeing from the likes of Peter Doe, we've got the head to toe cream looks with the matching blazer and trousers. And I actually still have a set which is very similar to that um, in my wardrobe from a few years ago. So this is from Topshop 
and I will pair this with a crisp white shirt to recreate the look and show you how easy it can be. Because this is old, I will link some similar options below, but this is just a classic style that you can wear into the spring summer months. You're gonna look so chic, and it's a great one to wear from day to night as well. You could style it with the trainers for more of a casual look, and then pop on some mules for the evening. So yes, the fresh and clean is probably my favorite trend, I'm not gonna lie. It just speaks to me, it's all the tones that I love and I love creating these effortless looks outfits. It's just my spring summer style and I'm very happy. It's been recognized a lot more on the catwalks. The next trend I'm gonna talk about is stripes. Possibly the only pattern that I have in my wardrobe. And we're seeing some beautiful combinations from the likes of Bauman, Celine and Tory Burch. So the reason I've included these two types of stripes in this video is because these are the ones that I would wear most of. So obviously I've got a blue stripe shirt on today and this for me is a real staple. This type of stripe is probably not so much of a trend. It'll always be around, but I just wanted to include it in here as well because it is on the catwalks. After seeing this trend, I went on the hunt for some stripe items because I need to have something with a black and white stripe in my spring summer wardrobe to go with all the black and white tops that I've got or even a pop of color as well. And I managed to find this on Mango. How gorgeous is this satin midi skirt? And it's super clever as well. So if you can see there, it's actually a placement print so they aren't seams, it is literally, it has literally got two seams down the side, but because of the design, it makes it look like it was cut in sections and sewn together. So that is really clever. And placement prints are a lot more expensive than just the all over repeat prints. This is a really good price for this type of skirt. I think it was 35 pounds because it is a great piece to achieve that higher end look without breaking the bank. So yes, this was a definite yes from me. So Mango also have some great stripe options on their website as well, if you're not after a skirt. I think they've got some shirts on there, they've got a mini skirt and some trousers too. So I will link those below so you guys can look at the collection. If you are lacking some stripes in your wardrobe and you wanna be inspired, definitely have a look on there, but yeah. Love this piece, so glad I found it. I have actually been styling it with my cutout top, so I will share a little reel on here that I did the other day for styling stripes for spring. And I think this is a great look for styling on those in-between days if you're going out for dinner or something, and then you can slowly start to introduce the sleeveless tops for the summer months. Okay, next up is oversized blazers. Now, there's no denying this trend has been around for a long time. I blooming love an oversized blazer and I'm very happy it's here to stay again. So we're seeing this from the likes of Versace, Jill Sander and Sportmax. So I'm really loving the lighter tones that are coming through for spring summer. I'm obsessed with this buttermilk yellow colour. It is just stunning. And we've got the creamy tones there as well. So my favorite oversized blazer that I've been wearing non-stop since last year is this one from H&M. It's in this lovely latte color, I would say. Unfortunately, this is no longer online, but Arquette have a very similar one in this color. So I'll link that below as well. But I just love the oversized blazer trend. You can literally throw it on with anything. I will show you a few ways I styled this last year for spring summer. I love teaming it with my satin midi skirts and my Bermuda shorts as well. So very happy this trend is here to stay. I think I will be investing in probably one more oversized blazer. There's a few on my wish list, so we shall see but it's definitely gonna be in more of that creamy tone or a buttermilk perhaps. So yes, oversized blazers for me, winner. Very happy to stay in. And I think it's a piece everyone should have in their wardrobe. This next trend is an accessory and it's one of my favorite spring summer shoes. And it is the flat form. So we're really seeing these from the likes of Hermes and Chloe, this really laid back, relaxed, sporty kind of vibe for the flat forms this year. And I'm loving it really. 
I was going to show you my black ones that I wore to death last year, but they're actually in Lanzarote because I left them out there when we went out in October thinking I would be back at Christmas, but that didn't happen, so I'll have to get them back in July. But I do have another pair to show you, and these were last year's too. These are from M&S, and they still stock them, thank goodness. The leather is so soft, and they come in white as well, and black, and then obviously tan. So because I already have a black pair, I opted for the tan pair. So flat forms are just a great all-rounder sandal to give you a bit of height and they're comfier to wear than flip-flops as well because you're not getting that really like you know when you it feels like your foot is really like slapping the floor and it can like lock your knee you want to be comfortable and because i'm a petite girl these give me a bit of height as well which i love so i'll link those ones below and my black ones are from and other stories but they're actually in the sale now so i'll link those below too so it really is a great all-round shoe for the spring summer months. Something that'll go with your dresses, with your trousers, with shorts, everything. It's just a staple piece in my opinion. And the next trend we're going to talk about probably isn't really a trend. I mean it's been a trend in my wardrobe for a very long time but it is white dresses. So these have dominated the catwalks recently. You're seeing them from the likes of Erdem, Jill Sander and Rodart. They're all in different styles, but you're still getting that white dress feel. So the white dresses that I have seen on the catwalk are such a broad range. So this is a great time to invest in your favorite style in a white color, and then it's gonna be something you're gonna have in your wardrobe forever, basically. So whether you're a broderie anglais wearing girl, like the Erdem one, or you're more of a slip dress girl, like the Rodart, you can pick whichever one is best for you. So I think I must have about 10, probably about 10 white dresses in my wardrobe and they're all different styles and shapes and sizes. I just love them. The majority of them are again in Lanzarote, so I can't show you many, but I've picked out two today to show you. And these are two that I wore a lot of last year as well. First up is this smock dress from Everlane. This is so cute and casual. I love teaming this with my flat forms, my trainers, and then throw in a denim jacket over the top as well. It's just really cute and it's got pockets, which is a winner for me. So it's a mini style, as you can see, I'll show you this on. And then we've got the little raglan puff sleeves on there as well. So this is just a really nice breathable cotton dress and it's been a staple for me. I wore it so much last year. It's really great for the spring summer months and it's one of those dresses that you can just throw on and go. That is the great thing about wearing white dresses. You could literally have this as the hero piece that you're gonna wear and then style it with any of your favorite accessories. So when I am wearing white, I do most likely love to pair it with my basket bag, which again is in Lanzarote, so I can't show you that today. But I also like to pair it with black as well. So black and tan are my go-tos when I'm wearing white. And the next dress I wanna show you is this one from ASOS. So this is very, very similar to the sleeper dresses, which are on my wish list. I really want to invest in one of those because they're so beautifully made and they've got huge sleeves. And they're more of a midi style, so I feel like it will fit me better. But this one has done the job for the past few years for me absolutely love it this one's from asos and i got this in a size eight and it is stunning this again it's one of those dresses that you can just throw on in the summer months and it's just so easy and floaty and romantic i love it i take it everywhere with me this always comes abroad with me because it is just one of those dresses that i throw on when i don't know what to wear pair it with my tan sandals basket bag and sunglasses and i'm ready to go so hopefully they have a similar one in stock i will link it below if not i'll link the sleeper one below as well so you can see but yeah love my white dresses i have so many oh another brand um and i can't show you the dress again because it's in lanzarote but is dish and it is an australian brand that specializes in linen and their dresses are stunning. The shape of them are just beautiful and the quality of the linen is amazing too. So definitely check those out. 
So we're down to the last two trends and you're probably going to be surprised when I talk about these two, but these are colour based. Yes, guys, I'm adding colour into my spring summer wardrobe. I mean, I already have it in, but you guys have probably not seen it on my channel just yet. So the colour I want to talk about is yellow. Yellow is basically an elevation of neutrals for me. I wear this colour so much in the spring summer months, especially around Easter and then again in the height of summer. I love all of these shades of yellow, so this is why I picked these four. So we're seeing these shades from the likes of Proenza Schooler, Jill Sander, Rodart and Max Mara. So we've got this really soft buttermilk yellow from the likes of Proenza Schooler, which then really translates nicely into the fresh and clean trend as well. So this is the great thing with that yellow tone. You can intertwine it into the other trends that I've been talking about as well. And then we've got this stunning, absolutely stunning, I'd call it like a buttercream. I keep wanting to say like buttermilk buttercream. Like buttercream yellow Jill Sander coat that is just if I could afford that, I would buy that. It is just beautiful. And then we've got the beautiful silk look from Rodart. I think that dress is just stunning. So I've got a skirt very similar to that that I'm going to show you in a minute. And then we've got the cords from Max Mara. I do actually have a yellow cord which I wore last year, which I'll share on here. But it's more of a linen, cotton blend style, but that is something I'll be wearing again this year as well. So I have actually just posted a reel this week on how to style yellow for spring. So I'll share the outfit inspo on here and talk through the products that were featured. So first up, the easiest way for you to add yellow into your wardrobe will be via a top or shirt. So these are the two yellow shirts that I have in my wardrobe. We've got the more lemon cooler yellow here and then we've got the more creamy warmer yellow here which I probably reach for this one a lot more but this one looks beautiful with denim so I'll share the looks on here as well. If you're new to colour and you want to just ease yourself in then maybe opt for a yellow vest top or a shirt just to give it a go but like I said it basically is an elevation of the neutrals and teams beautifully with all the creams and whites in your wardrobe. So that's why I love these yellow hues. And then similar to the road art dress, I've got this stunning bias cut handkerchief hem slip skirt. Absolutely love this. This is from Ted Baker and I'm really hoping they still sell it because you guys need it. It's stunning, it's so beautiful and it's a great piece for spring. I can't wait to wear this with just a simple white vest top, my basket bag and my tan sandals for that real effortless look. So I'll show you how I styled it for spring with a blazer. I have also found a few yellow slip skirts as well so I'll link those below if this isn't available. And then finally we've got my yellow trousers. So these are from And Other Stories and these are beautiful. You can dress these up, you can dress them down. I'll show you how I styled them last year and pop the video of how I styled them very casually with stripes. It just shows how versatile these trousers are to dress up and dress down as well. So this is in a lovely yellow tone and again it pairs beautifully with other neutrals in your wardrobe. And the final trend I'm going to be embracing this spring summer is bold brights. I feel like you might be surprised by this because I am a minimalist girl but when it comes to the summer months I love a head to toe bright look. It just cheers me up and especially in these three colours here. So we've got the beautiful orange here from Udon Choi, the stunning Bottega Green from Hu Shan Zhang and the royal blue from Sharon Wokob. You might be surprised that I've featured these in here but I've got some beautiful dresses to show you. So first up is this beautiful orange mini dress from Kos and I just felt like sunshine when I was wearing this. It is so gorgeous to wear. It's in a really nice breathable modal fabric and we've got the bat wing style sleeves there as well. So it's really nice and relaxed around your arms. 
and then we've got the mini style which is perfect for me being petite and I just love this shade of orange I think it's perfect for the spring summer months I love the shape of this and I can't wait to wear it again actually I really like styling this with my black flat forms and I'll probably style it with my black crossbody bag as well this year so a really nice head-to-toe orange look with minimal accessories is my way to go when styling bold colours. So this next dress is probably one of the most favourite items in my wardrobe. So when I found this, I was actually looking for a dress to wear in Mykonos and our theme was blue because we were having a blue night for our friends Hindu. And in some lights, this dress looks quite purple and some lights it looks blue and I just love the colour of it. It is such a rich tone and it is beautiful. I feel like this colour would look beautiful on any skin tone. So this is my Rat and Boa wrap shirt dress. I'll show you it on and I'll show you how I wore it in Mykonos as well. So I styled this with white heels and a white clutch. I just think really minimal spaghetti strap heels are perfect with this and just let the dress do the talking because it is stunning you see it's like a purpley blue tone on the camera here it looks more blue but in real life it looks more purple here so yeah i love this they also do it in green as well like an emerald green which is oh it's beautiful and it's a great nod to the bold brights again a mini style which i would definitely reach for because I don't want to be too drowned in bright colours. That's a bit too much for me. Like head to toe is a bit too much. So we're going head to above the knee. That's that's enough for me. So yes, those are the three colours I'm going to be injecting into my wardrobe. And if you are still a little bit scared of wearing brights, I would definitely just recommend maybe just trying it with an accessory like a bag or some shoes to add that little pop and then you can slowly start adding in a little bit more colour if you feel more confident. But wearing colour in the summer months really makes me feel a lot more happy and vibrant. So yes, I had to add some colour in there for the spring summer months. So guys, there we go. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I really hope it inspired you to have a look into your wardrobe and maybe delve back into some older pieces that you've forgotten about that you're going to get out again. That's certainly what I've done and I've also had a big clear out too but it's been nice to just sift back through them all and pull out those forgotten pieces. So yeah, as always I will link everything below and because some of these items are old I will find some similar pieces and link them for you but yeah I really hope you enjoyed it I hope it inspired you and like I said don't feel like you have to invest into trends this was just a guide from me to you to tell you what's coming up and if you already have some of these pieces in your wardrobe then winner go for it have a play around and style in it in different ways and just enjoy it it's all about having fun so yes anyway I'm gonna go tidy up now and I will see you guys very, very soon.